On this Easter day, Christians all over the world gather and proclaim, Alleluia, Christ is risen. As we look back on the Easter story, we remember that it was Mary Magdalene who was the first one to share the good news of the risen Christ. But when she first encounters Jesus, she's startled and does not immediately know him. Though she has been waiting and searching for Jesus, we are reminded in John's Gospel that it wasn't until Jesus calls her by name that she fully understands the reality of the miracle, the resurrection that has taken place. This is our resurrection story, the resurrection story of Jesus, but it is also her resurrection story too. Just as Jesus unknowingly appeared to Mary, Jesus appears in our lives at any point and at any time, but we must not wait for this moment. The resurrection of Christ is our invitation to look for Jesus in the world around us and in the people around us. Just as Mary went, we are to look for Jesus in the places where we least expect to find him, the places that are unfamiliar and unknown to us. We're invited to realize a world where the reality of Easter is happening in every moment of every day. Look around you. Look and see Easter. When we open our own tombs, the tombs of our hearts and our minds to the risen Lord, we expose ourselves to the vulnerable experience of the resurrection. Just as Mary Magdalene found her faith and hope renewed by the resurrection, it is our faith that will help us find God in those unfamiliar places. And as we continue to build upon our journey, this experience of renewed faith will guide our resurrection stories, leading us to unity with God and one another. So on this Easter Sunday, as we read John's Gospel and we prepare our minds and our hearts for the coming of the Holy Spirit, we see that the salvation of creation is even now upon us. Only when Jesus is resurrected in our lives and in our communities will this new creation truly spring forth. This is love. This is life. This is Easter. And it is glorious.